All right, there she lays, right back there. All right, another one for the freezer. All right, guys, so listen, we're in about the last hour of shooting light here. Got the 12 gauge Huntsman muzzle loading shotgun out here and shot this dude with a 12 gauge round ball. Had to drag it about 65 yards out of the woods after I blood trailed it. I got up on the main trail now and I'm going to hook it up to the back of the four wheeler, drag it back in. I'm gonna use a sled to do that. So we'll talk about that as we go. Stay with me guys. All right, I'm kind of filming this live guys. So you have to bear with me here. I got nobody here controlling the camera. I think I just got it set up off to the side here. Okay. Now, roll the rest of this guy out. Again, this is the back side back here. And I uh, didn't do a very good job with that. So I'll get him turned around here. And we can go to this other side. Once we get it bundled up, we'll go to this other side to drag it. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it is freaking absolutely going crazy out here right now. We got our package separated rock, tied up, locked up, ready to head down the trail. Nasty, nasty. Nasty. Ooh, he is just bad out. All right, back to camp. One giant mud ball here. Still pouring down rain, everything held just fine. Now we got a nice, wet, nasty knot right here. I bet you that thing's gonna come out just as easy. We're gonna find out right now. All right. Speed up a little bit. Get some of the slack off of this. What do we got going on here? Whew. There we go. There we go. All right. Dude out. Get this dude out. There we go. Now, there's our nice wet knot. Boom. See you later. Piece of cake. Nothing to it. All right, guys. Well, it's almost dark here. Still pouring down rain. Just got back to camp with this deer. All right. So, we got some lights set up in here. Let me get some stuff done. Got the old nest out out there. I got one of the batteries on the lights inside and I got one on a flood panel right there. Block and tackle hanging up right there. Get this deer unpackaged and get it over there. Okay, so a lot of folks ask. See if I get back on here. A lot of folks ask why I hang them head up like this, and that's just the way I was taught to hang deer. But to me, I like to use gravity, and all the junk that I don't want in the meat is at the bottom. So why not use that gravity to force everything else down to the bottom with the junk that I don't want in the meat instead of turning it upside down and all it falls into the rib cage. That's just my thought. Right or wrong, doesn't matter. It works for you however you do it. it. Works for me how I do it. That's enough said. All right, let's get this thing gutted. You're gonna ask me what my favorite knife is for skinning? Pathfinder Knife Shop Camp Companion is the king. Opens them rib cages up, opens that thing up like it's nothing. Ask me again when I hang them upside down. Everything just falls right out the bottom that way. That's why, done deal. No muss, no fuss. Now I just gotta clean this out. You know, all that light that's coming into this deer to clean this thing out is all coming from that nest out panel. That thing is unbelievably bright. I mean, it's a really nice package. This is the same one I reviewed not very long ago. 
and it works really, really, really well. I love it. Give me plenty of light out here to get this job done at night. We got enough light, I think, in this light panel to show you. This is a H&R Huntsman. It is a muzzle-loading 12-gauge. When you break it open, it's got a spot here for a cap, like a cap and ball cap. Okay, like it's a number 11 cap. And it's fully contained. You have to take the nipple out to clean the barrel and things like that. The insert doesn't come out, but it comes with a ramrod. They made these back in the 70s. They don't make them anymore, but they made them in lots of calibers. But this one is a smoothbore 12 gauge. It's one of two that I have. And it's definitely one of my favorite H&Rs, especially during the muzzleloader season. All right, guys, so here's the deal. This video is probably gonna be pretty choppy in a lot of places because it's real. It's not a setup. I went out, had a couple hours of daylight left on the last day of muzzleloader, and I'm like, you know what? The wind's died down now, the rain's died down. I've been doing that all day long. Ever since this morning, been pouring down rain, windy as crap, nor'easter, wind coming out of the northeast, completely different than normal weather. And it died down, it quit raining. I'm like, I gotta get out there. The deer are gonna move right now. Went out to the woods, boom, last day of muzzleloader. Wasn't in the woods 25 minutes, saw a deer, boom. 15, 20 minutes later, I've got that thing drug out on the trail. Unfortunately, as soon as I got drug out to the trail, broke out the sled to lace this thing in and show you guys some of that, bam, here it comes again. Gushing the rain, gushing the wind, just blowing like crazy. I got the thing back here to camp. About another half hour later, everything was gone. Weather died down. We were able to get a little bit more footage of gutting this deer and things like that. But I didn't want to get, you know, too much into detail on gutting this deer on this video because I've got videos on that already. I just wanted to kind of share some of this real experience with you guys on how things really are. I got a Mountain Dew in my hand. I'm drinking a Mountain Dew right now. I'm going to put a dip in. You get out there and you do it. You have fun. You're an outdoorsman. You're a sportsman. You're a woodsman. And whatever you got to do, that's what you do. Trap line day in, day out. Hunt when the weather's nasty. That's what you do. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, friends. And I'll be back to another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.